One of the things that I see in my patients and people with disabilities uh, and that they'll express to me is that everything is more difficult to do. Um, one of the most common complaints of people post-stroke or post-brain injury is, is fatigue, that they get tired. Well, there's two types of tired. There's the physical type, uh, physical fatigue. When you're young and you exercise and you get that endorphin high from working out, um, that's good and you recover quickly. But when you have a disability and physically it's harder to walk, it takes more energy to walk a block to walk across the room, um, to go upstairs. That's a bad type of fatigue. You don't recover quickly from that, uh, and it can, it can be exhausting. And we teach people ways to compensate for that, compensatory strategies, but you still expend more energy. And as a result, you're fatigued. The other is that from a cognitive or mental standpoint, things can be more difficult. So think about before you had a disability, before you had your stroke or your brain injury, and you had to really study hard for, for an exam, or you had a really tough day at work, um, and you were in a bunch of meetings, and it was just exhausting, you don't feel good. That's not a good type of fatigue. You don't say, oh, that was just terrific. I really feel renewed by that. Well, now think that you have your disability. That type of mental fatigue is exhausting, that it's harder to read, it's harder to process information. Uh, a hard day at school, a hard day at the office is that much more difficult. So that what we need to accept if we're fatigued after disability is there's times when you're just going to need to rest, that you're not going to be able to charge through it and you're not going to be able to say, I can do this. You're going to have to pace yourself, plan your day, plan your activities, doesn't mean you can't go back to work, doesn't mean you can't do the things you used to do, but that they may take longer. Um, hopefully you have an employer who will accommodate that. If you're lucky and you're self-employed, if you were somebody like me, I would see fewer patients. I would maybe program a rest period in the middle of the day uh, and plan ahead. So find out what it's like where you're going to go. What does that restaurant look like? What is the hotel like where you're going on vacation? Don't plan to do too much in a given day. And just pace yourself and accept the fact that you're going to be a little more tired, but you can get through this.